God bless you, YouTube. I hadn't yet done a video on Babylon because that is well spoken of scriptural prophecy. The first Babylon was the one where God come down, cast down the city of Babylon and removed and confounded the language and destroyed the city and the tower of Babylon because they were making themselves like gods. God had stopped it and prevented it through the language changes. Thus, the creation of multiple languages and cultures. I love this one. It's in Revelation chapter 14. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him on a hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their forehead. And I heard a voice from heaven, and the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder, and I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty four and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women. Got stuck here, YouTube. Apologize. Bear with me a minute. For they are virgins. They are they, these are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of God. And I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment has come. And worship him that made heaven and earth, and the sea, and the fountains of water. And there followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed him, saying, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, angels and in the presence of the Lord, the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. I'm going to leave it there. I want you guys to read the rest of uh, Revelation 14. Believe me, it just, it just catches what I was saying about Babylon has fallen, and it covers the video real well. You guys have a good day. God bless you. 
maybe we'll get a rant tomorrow. You know who this you know who the beast is, the whore is, and that's the Roman church. And it says it right in there, the one on a hill. The only thing on a hill that is Christian organization is the papacy. So called Christian organization, but it's not, it's a religion. And it's a religious cult known as the Catholic religion. Well, you already know that she's the great whore, so I'll leave it at that. God bless you guys. Have a great day. Stay true to the word always in Jesus' name. Amen. Fallen, is fallen, Babylon is fallen to rise no more. Bye. Bye.